What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video, but first I need you to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. So guys, man, obviously my former teammates are not watching my channel and it shows, bro. Oh, we got this situation with um, linebacker Adam Anderson and honestly, that's the homie. So I'm gonna keep it real on this channel. I'm gonna keep it straight up. We gonna read this article and I'm gonna break it down to you guys, okay? So let's get into it. athens Clark County Police investigating taking the WAP allegations against Georgia football linebacker, okay? <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> they're saying that the allegations are against Adam Anderson, according to a police incident report obtained Thursday by the Athens Banner Herald. No arrests have been made, according to athens Clark County Police Lieutenant Sean Barnett, who said he did not know if charges will be filed. It's still open and still under investigation. He said it's depending on how that investigation plays out that will determine that. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna just keep it a buck. If y'all guys don't know who Adam Anderson, go ahead, look him up, bro. This dude does not need to take no walk, okay? If there's anybody out there who don't need to take none, it's him. But I keep telling you guys about dealing with these women while they're intoxicated, okay? Guys. Do not be smashing no chicks who are drunk, okay? Even if she had a few drinks, unless it's your girl or something, and you got text message proof or some type of proof that everything was good, maybe you filmed it. That's why I keep telling you guys, man, pull out your camera. A lot of these girls want to be on camera, especially if they letting you hit. They'll let you film, okay? So pull out your camera while you're hitting it from the back and she's screaming, oh yes, daddy, da 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 harder and whatnot, make sure you get proof. I keep telling you guys this, but people be like, bruh, how are you gonna pull out your camera while you have, bruh, it's easy. Just be like, yo, shit, you wanna be a, you wanna be adult film star, you know what I mean? But when back, play it up. Play into the feelings, okay? But what a lot of guys are doing now, man, they really just loose with it. They're not getting confirmation that things were consensual. They, a lot of these um, higher affluent guys, guys with status, guys who have something going for themselves, y'all need to get these consent apps, okay? You need to have shorties filling out NDAs. You, be, especially since college football players are able to get paid off of their likeness now, you guys are going to have to go in defense mode, okay? Gone are the days where you running trains on chicks and, and clapping random chicks at different days. Gone are those days, okay? You need hard evidence, hard proof, and you need to keep a list of the woman that you're dealing with, okay? Um, uh, let's get into it. A 21-year-old female told police she went to an Athens residence after having drinks, okay? So she had drinks, went to his crib, it... It, it, the way that they're describing it, okay, the way that they're describing it is she wasn't with him while she was having drinks. So obviously this was a booty call. Shorty was a booty call. Shorty was a jump off, okay? Um, a 20 year old female told police she went to an Athens residence after having drinks and woke between 12 a.m. and 7 a.m. on Friday, October 29th with Anderson penetrating her while she was lying in the bed. So for one, you don't just, oh, go out and get drinks and end up in this dude's bed, okay? You was a booty call. You pulled up because you was drunk and you was ready to get them cheeks clapped. Let's keep it a buck. How these women be moving? And it looks like there might be some regret. I told you guys, these women are retroactively withdrawing consent. Let me say it again. They're retroactively withdrawing consent, meaning that... A lot of these women are letting you clap the cheeks. It's all good. It's all gravy. It's all good in the hood. You clap. You bust. 
you tell her to get out or she leaves or whatever and she feels some type of way about it because she's not the main chick this is what these women do they feel salty that they can't be your main chick so now they start oh retroactively oh okay well it really wasn't consensual i really didn't even know that he was clapping the cheeks that's cap it's cap okay let's read let's read the rest of this article you know what i mean all right uh the woman reported the alleged taking of the WAP at 2.39 p.m. the same day at the athens Clark County Police East Side Police Department. The department's criminal investigations division interviewed her. So that is a lot of the problem with it. The, the quickness at which she, she reported it. I mean, she went straight to the police, okay? Straight to the police. The Georgia football team left that day for its game with Florida in Jacksonville. So this was last weekend, a game Anderson played. Anderson has not been contacted as of the date um, of the police incident report, which was also on October 29th. Barnett said he couldn't disclose if Anderson has since been contacted, okay? Steve Sadow, Anderson's attorney, released a statement on behalf of Anderson. Adam denies in the strongest terms possible the unfounded and unsupported allegations of intercoursal misconduct, he said. He has been notified of the allegations made to the police and to the UGA Equal Opportunity Office and has come to learn that the complaint has already apparently made inconsistent claims that she was unconscious during the conduct, which I guarantee she was wide awake. Bro. That's hella cap. Like, but these shorties really be out here capping, trying to ruin the dog's national championship bid. It's crazy. It reminds me of the uh, Bakari Rambo situation that I reviewed on my other channel last year, okay? He was in a similar situation. His girl, or, or the girl that accused him, got caught up by her boyfriend, and now she retroactively withdrew consent. And he's banned from the city. He can't even come back to the city that he put in work for, blood, sweat, and tears, and paved the way for other OLBs and, and, and ILBs, okay? Um, so let's see. Uh, she said she was unconscious during the conduct to the EOO, but awoke from sleep by the conduct uh, to the police, okay? In the interest of justice and fairness, Adam hopes and prays the UGA community and the public can keep an open mind and not prejudge him based on inconsistent, unsubstantiated, and baseless accusations. Quite frankly, this is all cap. We're calling it here on the Reclaim Your Throne channel. Georgia football coach Kirby Smart earlier released a statement. We are aware of the report and we don't comment on law enforcement matters, but I've been clear about the high standards we have for our student athletes on and off the field. Smart said Thursday evening. I will be working closely with our administration to ensure we cooperate fully with all law enforcement and campus protocols. Smart didn't mention any specific discipline for Anderson, but ESPN.com reported he's suspended indefinitely citing sources so my man can't even play in the Missouri game, which I will be at. He can't even play the game. For what? Because these Tatianas be capping. It's all cap, bro. I'm telling you guys. They're trying to me too, buddy. They're trying to me too, buddy. Make an example. They're trying to Emmett Till, my dude, bro. Okay? Um, the six foot five, 230 pound Anderson, 22, is a senior from Rome who is being projected as an NFL first round draft pick. He has missed practice time this week, but not for any injury related reasons, according to Dog247. He led number one Georgia with five sacks, is, uh, is second with five and a half tackles for loss, and fifth with 32 tackles. Anderson was second on the team in 2020 with six and a half sacks. Georgia plays Missouri Saturday at 12 p.m. in Athens. So what can we learn from this situation? What we can learn is that you have to have proof that you know, everything was all good. You need to get text me text messages. 
And I think that the the athletic department needs to train these young men on how to get proof so that these women cannot retroactively withdraw consent. Now, this type of situation has not happened with a, a, a current player in a couple of years, okay? But let's keep it a buck. This dude, he don't got to take no walk. He's damn near the number one linebacker in the country. <sighs> so what does this say for future athletes, man? Be careful. Like I told you guys, stop dealing with women who are intoxicated, okay? Make sure you have text message threads. Make sure you're not deleting those. Make sure you are keeping all the evidence that so she cannot withdraw consent retroactively. The problem with this situation is that the, the swiftness that she reported it, it, it to me it seems like she had an ulterior motive to me it seems like she set this up herself this in my opinion is absolutely a false accusation okay i know this dude i seen how he moves man he don't move like that okay he really don't um so anyways man you already know what it is it's your boy reclaim your throne make sure you like comment share subscribe and you already know go dogs Claim your throne.